Hello everyone. In this video, I just wanted to show you the importance of having a battery capacity tester uh, like the one I'm having here. This is a eTorch DL24P uh, capacity tester as well as it, it is capable of uh, to be used as a, an energy monitoring device. Uh, you can easily buy this uh, online from uh, AliExpress or uh, Amazon as well. So as you can see that I have connected this uh, 12 volt uh, dry battery with this uh, battery capacity tester and uh, it it has a 9 ampere R capacity right. So either you have a new battery or used battery. So if you want to know how much capacity is actually left within that battery. So all you need to do is uh, charge that battery completely and then uh, you can you should connect the battery with this uh, capacity tester like uh, I've shown you here and uh, initially you have to uh, set the parameters uh, which I'm going to tell you in a moment first of all as you can see we have the IS here this is actually the current that you want to uh, apply on this uh, uh, you want to draw uh, from this uh, battery and the actual load is a uh, transistor or a MOSFET symbol which is uh, under this uh, heat sink here also uh, as you can see that uh, we have connected this battery so it is showing the voltage of the battery right here which is 12.7 volts uh, next we have the current and power which is zero right now because we have not started this uh, device yet uh, we have the resistance uh, and this is actually going to change uh, when we we are going to start the this device so uh, it is also going to tell us the internal resistance of this battery uh, finally we have the energy in uh, watt hours as well as the capacity in milliampere hours so you can actually uh, uh, know or get the capacity of your battery uh, that is left inside any kind of a battery that you want to test right so also we have different types of tests that can be applied on any kind of a battery for example right now i'm going to uh, apply the constant current but you can also apply the constant voltage or the constant power uh, test on your battery uh, the time discharge that uh, how much time you want to set so that after that time the device all automatically just uh, will shut off and uh, uh, no more current will be drawn from the battery or any kind of load that you are applying here uh, the cutoff voltage uh, right now as you can see that I have set this to 11.8 volts because uh, the recommended cutoff voltage from uh, for any kind of uh, lead acid or dry battery is uh, 11.6 volts so as a safe said i have set it to 11.8 volts and uh, setting the uh, these parameters are really easy for example if i want to change this 11.8 volts all i need to do is press and hold this button and as you can see it starts uh, blinking and i can just uh, move the cursor right here and uh, change the voltage to any value i want to set right so right now i just want to keep it to 11.8 volts for example if uh, you have set the uh, all the parameters that are required for testing uh, finally all you need to do is uh, press this button uh, which says starts right but uh, before that uh, it is very important to set the uh, current that you want to draw from this uh, uh, battery or any kind of battery that you have uh, connected since this battery uh, is capable of uh, easily uh, applying like uh, providing nine, uh, 2 amperes or 3 amperes uh, so I am going to set it to 2 amperes here finally all we need to do is uh, press the start button so I am going to press the start button right now
and as you can see uh, the voltage of the battery is dropping very quickly as well as it is also showing the current that is being drawn from this battery right it is uh, just locking the amperes to exact 2 amperes it is uh, not uh, going to jump like 2.1 or 2.2 also you can see that uh, when the voltage of the battery will be 11.79 as soon as it goes to 11.79 it is going to shut off the uh, testing process uh, the reason for this uh, fan is obviously because uh, this transistor or the MOSFET uh, that is being uh, drawing the current uh, gets heat up uh, really quickly so it has to be cooled down right so right now you can see that uh, it is showing us the uh, actual capacity in milliampere hours uh, if you increase the uh, load current so obviously the internal calculations or the uh, formula is set such as uh, it is going to raise the capacitance quicker as compared to setting a lower current value right so uh, we are going to let it uh, test the capacity for a while Alright, so as you can see that uh, the test is now completed and uh, I was changing the current of uh, the actual load that is being drawn uh, just to show you the that uh, you can also uh, change the current during the test but uh, um, the recommended procedure is uh, to set the current uh, like uh, at the start of the test and do not change that current right uh, but it uh, it is not going to uh, put any effect on the actual calculation right now as you can see that this uh, was a 12 volt 9 ampere hours battery but as you can see that we uh, got only 293 milli ampere hours uh, from this battery so in this way you can easily determine if you have if your battery is uh, um, capable of providing any uh, amperes to you uh, and how long uh, it is going to give you the backup right you can also uh, buy uh, these kind of modules for this tester that is going to help you uh, test different kind of uh, rechargeable cells like uh, this one is for the 18650 and all you need to do is place the cell here and uh, connect this at this point right so in this way you are easily going to check any kind of a cell as well as you can also connect uh, any kind of a battery at these points uh, this is also for the same purpose if uh, you do just don't want to connect the battery directly so you can connect this module here and the terminals at this point so it will be the same thing uh, so i hope you have uh, liked this video so if you have any questions related to this video so just uh, drop it uh, into the comment section i have also made uh, a video on another uh, capacity tester and the link is here uh, so go and check that out for now, uh, take care, have fun, bye bye.